Well, chilly weather means breaking out those puffy coats, but when it comes to small children in car seats, bundling up may not be the best idea. 12 on your side's Marilyn Moritz on the danger and what to do instead. I'll buckle you in. Emily Thomas has a PhD in pediatric injury biomechanics. She's also mom to little Micah. And those bulky, puffy coats, she says those can make the car seat harness too loose. I also do the daycare drop-off every morning. And I know that it can be really annoying and kind of inconvenient to have to remove their coats to put them into their car seat. But I will tell you that it is super important for their safety. You want them to be the safest they can in their car seat. Here's an easy way to see if your child's coat is too puffy. First, secure him in the seat while wearing his coat so there's no slack in the harness. Then take the coat off and put him back in the seat. If the straps are loose, there's a problem. In a crash, if he was still wearing his coat, his coat would compress, all of that puffiness would compress, leaving this extra room, which gives him additional room to move and potentially move outside the safety of his car seat, which would increase his risk of injury. We don't want you to have any injuries, right? Of course, you want your child to be warm in the car, so she recommends putting a blanket or a coat on top of the car seat harness or even put their coat sleeves on backwards. I know it can be challenging, but the sooner you start with these kinds of safety practices, the more it becomes the norm. So now he's so used to taking his coat off that he doesn't even like to wear his coat underneath his harness. And he's the one who implements the change of taking his coat off. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.